Welcome to Dietrich's Daring Adventures. I sit here on this island after everything, and I feel very alone. Well, I am alone. Like the gods of storms and seas could feel the raging of my heart, waves mirrored my anger, thunder echoed the screams in my head, and the danger my friends were in was very real. I lost. Again. There you go again, Dietrich. Being dramatic. Zuki would not fail to remind me of that. He would say... Get yourself together, you foolish boy. Besides, I'm not alone. Leda was in the rowboat with me. I also found a man marooned on the island. He's a very nice man. Has a few friends with him. His name is Mac, or at least... That is what he remembers people calling him. Maybe he's a kindred spirit. I too can't seem to get my head on straight. The island is mostly deserted, except for some fish in the pool at the centre of this landmass. Oh, well, and of course, Mac, who told us that many have come to the island for treasure in the depths but never return. Of course this piqued our interest. However, I thought twice about putting Aleda in danger again. But it would seem I did just that. Of course, I never forget how amazing she is. But she often conceals one of the best parts of herself. She did all the heavy lifting in the end. At the bottom of the pit there was a bunch of bones, an ominous omen, but also a jewellery box. The latest clever use of her magic meant that I could not stay down there with her, which meant when the giant snake attacked, I couldn't immediately help her, but I think I'm getting better. Day by day, at this fighting thing. Galadir would be real proud. I wish he was here to see me. I hope everyone is... Okay. They would have seen my growth when I locked that thing's head right off before it could do any more damage to her later. I mean, Mac helped, but I got the final blow. We rested up and Mac told us a bunch of wild stories before we tried again. I think we found another bangle. And if my journal serves me right, the blue bangle was Styron the Braves. I think it's rather fitting. Alayda was very brave indeed. <laughs> 